All right. Welcome, YouTube. Today, I will be playing the demo of Dwarf. Dwarf. It's uh, it's something around that. But what's in, but truthfully, the name. As long as you have a spell name, that's the important part. And even more important than that is the actual game premise. This game is basically a tower defense game where you get to move around and your character is actually an important part of the defense. Recently, this game, actually not even recently, this game just opened up its Kickstarter page today. And I saw it and I was like, huh, that seems pretty cool. I was a big fan of Locke's Quest back in the day, so I was interested to see how this game would play. Even better is the fact that they have a demo available on Steam right now, which is the version I'm playing, so anyone can go out there and play this demo. So we are going to go ahead and just start the demo and see how it plays. the massive hollow mountain of Mount Crowquest, there once lived a great nation of dwarves. The dwarves discovered power stones while mining deep in the mountain. They used them to power machines, and eventually, entire cities. They lived in peace and prosperity for centuries. Over time, they became in infatuated with power stones and dug deeper to find more. One day, they dug too deep, and at least the gloom dark hordes, an army of trolls and monstrous creatures. Once the dwarves realized that trolls turned to stone into sunlight, they fled far from the mountain and found refuge on the sunny hills of Brecca. Centuries passed, and over time, the dwarves forgot their transitions and abandoned craftsmanship and innovation in favor of warring and raiding. History became myth, and myth became bedtime stories. But whispers of a long forgotten darkness echo throughout the valley of the Great Mountain. It can be heard in a snoring forest by those who dare to enter. So this is starting the game. That's movement. If I do, okay. So this game seems to be prioritizing for a joystick of some type, like a joystick, either Joy-Con or whatever, like a gamepad or whatever. So I do know the fact that the move is focused around. Oh, that's that's not. Wait, that's that's not good. I I actually can't do anything. That's that's an interesting intro. Okay. Guess that's a nightmare. Ooh, a coin I can already see. I can collect. Let's see. Can I interact with anything? How do I do that to the door? I guess it just opens automatically. Dwarf, you're awake. Thank goodness you're alright. I told you never to go into the snoring force. Your mother went in there and never came back. I not found you, my dear. You have died. Forgive my anger, son. I don't know what I would do if anything ever happened to you. Well, I better get back to Brecca Village. Chief Tain and the other warriors went raiding this morning, but I've been assigned guard duty. Again. I'll be home for dinner. See you tonight, son. I'm dwarf. <laughs> Wait, I can't move. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm dwarf. <laughs> All right, let's go raiding. Let's see if there's anything I can scavenge around here. I see the coins on the outside. So that's going to be a nice little collectible thing. Oh, Grandpa's workbench. Can't use it yet, but... Yeah, let's see, can I go into Grandpa's room? Yes. So these doors just seem to open on map. No button. Did you go looking for your mother again? 
<laughs> of course you did. You are just like her. I suspect this won't be the last time you sneak into the snoring forest. Come, let me at least teach you to defend yourself. Meet me in the field. All right, there's Crane Paul teaching us. All right, first off, let's go collect these coins. All right, yeah, it's easy collects. And I cannot traverse water at all. At least not yet. So that means that if there's anything around the water that I can't get yet, that that should be a get. For example, like coin over there. I think I can get that now. Let's see. Yes, this coin I can get. But the coin over there, that's likely going to require multiple sessions. So that's the field. How far can I go? Just not paying attention to what he said at all. This part's just a loop around here. Let's try to close down. Oh, okay. So they make it where you can explore a bit around, but the fields is the only. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The fields is the art, the only place you can match a dress room. Fair enough, fair enough. Right, so I'll go talk to him. Let's see, actually. Us storms are very strong, but we're also very slow. This makes us weak against multiple foes. That's why the warriors of the old days become warsmiths. Warsmiths were warrior engineers that use turrets and traps to take on multiple foes at once. A single warsmith could best a dozen warriors, some say even a hundred. And believe it or not, your great grandparents, my mother and father, were warsmiths during the Great Exodus. Yeah, this sounds. Warsmiths remind me a lot of engineers from. <clears throat> oh, God. And that makes me very happy. The creatures of the snoring forest will surely outnumber you. If you're to survive out there, let's become a warsmith. So I will teach you as my parents taught me. Let's see if you can handle a turret. Get the spin blade turret from the chest and come back. All right, chest just pops up. It just opens. The spin blade turret is a melee turret that, continue, that constantly damages all enemies around it with spinning blades. Great. Turrets require power stones to function. The spin blade turret needs two power stones. Lucky for you, I kept the ones my father passed down to me. I had two more power stones lying around somewhere, but I can't seem to find them. I wonder where they went. Anyway, get the two power stones from the other crests and use them to build a spin blade turret next to a training dummy. Very interesting. No. Oh, yeah. Wait, am I a sim now? Do I click X here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this does not damage me. Job. However, now have zero power stones remaining. Without power stones, you can't build turrets. Don't worry. You get power stones back when the turret gets destroyed or you call it. We call the spin blade turret by pressing right trigger. Destroy the remaining train guns. Okay, so. I'm not completely certain, as it does seem I can use, actually use my keyboard to move around stuff, but the button commands are for joystick. This may change if you don't have anything plugged in. So for people that only have keyboard, there's, you might want to try, not, you might want to try it out. Nice work. Next. 
let's talk about artifacts. Artifacts are legendary war smith items that give you special active and passive abilities. Here, take my father's bouncing boomerang. It gives you a ranged auto attack to support your turret from a safe distance. You need to stand still in order to throw it. And last but not least, my mother's griffin boots. So you can dash by pressing left trigger. The other artifacts remain lost in the crow crests. Now, let's see how you do against real opponents. Follow the path to the brewery and take care of those pesky beef fairy, beef fairies that have been drinking all my delicious honeydew mead. Those pesky fairies, get away from my mead! You actually just like call on it. You can like have it summoned, which is very useful. Okay. Got lots of coins from that. As you can see, turrets do get damaged if enemies go by them. Smith of legend to be. Yeah, that is an amazing view. <laughs> nice pixel art. You get the over to the village. And it's great. I'm guessing that must be the mountain they came from. And also the fact that like you can see more or less of it by going closer to it is amazing. Just a nice little touch by them. Huh, so that's just areas is, is locked off for now. So this, that's actually pretty interesting. It seems that enemies just don't. I, shouldn't it. I don't need to build it. Because they didn't even touch it. Enemies come from like stuff like that. You can't actually hurt them, or you can't hurt the actual spawner. You can just hurt the enemies that come from which is an interesting mechanic. That basically means that you 
you really can't go too aggressive. So it's an interesting balance. And you may not be able to do anything here. Let's see. Can I place it? I can. Okay. So this is like basically the path where Emmy is in the direct path of the turret. You're, you cannot. They will attack a turret first off. They will advance it. So you have to be Say, this is pretty nice. The game itself is a nice little pixelated style. The graphics, well, it's smooth, and most importantly, the actual mechanics seem. My bo boy, Mark, glad to see you. D. Uh, the be fairies all over the place. So I've been hiding in here. So, uh, I've been finally touching a bit of turrets. Uh, well, you did a pretty good job against those be fairies. Alright. Uh, uh, I've a bit too much as honey do well. Er. Uh, do me a favor and don't tell Esben. Thanks, bud. Let's take Carol's Bee Fairy Swarm out back. Make some room in your bag for me. Oh, we found our two power crystals. Oh, it's nice and cozy in your bag. Thanks for the lift. I guess that's how we go back out. Grandpa's, po Grandpa's power stones. Ari, did you take them again? Whoa, how did those get there? Well, at least you have four power stones now. Since turrets require two power stones to build, you can now build two spin blade turrets. <sighs> Look at me and my amazing math skills. Yep, so amazing. Right, and there's a potion too. Just heals me. Oh, so. so you want like half of it? Blue bar in the bottom. Dash mechanic. And I had to like manage that pretty well. It's good to experiment now. So I don't have to worry about it later. And it doesn't allow you to go back in. Which I think is fairly curious. Let's see something. So you have two turrets. The base off proximity. It's based off of So I go here, I go like this. That one goes away. Meanwhile, if I go here, it's, I go like uh, let's see. Here, that one goes away. I go here, which is closer to this one. That one goes away. Now, I think that's really important for actual games. And also, you can break them apart like that. But, and you can do RT to hold. Actually, let's see. Do you call them? 
they'll just come back to you automatically in a short amount of time. So you just have to wait for that to happen if, for some reason, you can't directly go over to them. And it's also based off proximity, so you can't depend on her being far away being easier. All right, well, I finished that section. It can go back through over here anyway. Not really sure why they blocked it off, but. Yeah, you just actually, that's. Yeah, you just, they just won't let you go back over here. There's not actually anything. Any reason for you not to be able to. But, all right. Let's start a little area just to teach the controls and how stuff works is nice. And if I'm correct, you should go slightly blue whenever you... Yes. So when the dash resets, you go slightly blue. Ooh. That's not good. Dwarf. Wait, Dwarf, look. The, the village, it's under attack. Uh, wait, isn't Ark down there? Ark will be fine, right? He's the best warrior I know. Uh, what am I saying? We have to go down there and make sure he's alright. But... Urban? Yeah. Ah, uh, there you are, grandson. I was on my way to check up on you when I saw the smoke. Come, we must hurry inside. I can't. I have to find Dad. Dwarf, are you... Really going? Are you really going to go down there? I already lost mom. I can't lose dad too. You have your mother's courage, dwarf. She will be proud of you. Here, take this crossbow turrets. It's dangerous to go alone after all. The crossbow turret is a ranged turret that shoots high speed bolts. It has low hope. So it's best to place it behind the spin blade turret. When you have more than one turret built, you'll have to pay attention to which turret you recall. You'll always recall the closest turret in the direction you're facing, or the closest one if you're not facing any turrets. You can press and hold right trigger display indicator upon the turret that will be recalled when you release the button. Now, go find your father, and be careful. Thank you, Grandpa. The crossbow turret is a ranged turret that shoots high speed bolts. Beware. Shielded enemies block air. We're going on an adventure to save our father. Alright. First, yeah, we just look back here for a bit. There's nothing else over there, so. Just tow them. Somehow, okay, so that's good. Direction doesn't matter. At least not yet. And yeah, that's the indicator. So that's something that's fairly good for some more higher level stuff, but. This can farm. It's useful for saving time, I guess. Not much. Wait, is that turret really closer? Alright, that's pretty interesting. Nice reach on that. 
can he possibly get over in there yet? No. Nope, not at all. We're gonna have to go inside and reach. Oh man. It's like a bitch. Oh, what a splendid surprise. Looks like my experiment worked. Covenant. You made sure our troll archers only filed the ephemeral is correct. Yes, Green. And our troll archers were put to hide their faces, like you said. They won't suspect us. Very good. The dim witted dwarves won't hesitate to blame their faces which were behind you. Unleash the war book. The wood boards and have them feast on the corpses of our fallen. Leave no trace of drill behind. Yes, Queen. Oh, story! But that is pretty dark. Oh, those are one of the things that are in there. Ooh, that was close. That was close. For a second, I thought they saw us. Blurred. I think those were twirls. But if they were, why the heck haven't they turned to stone? I don't like this one bit. Those horde books look fast. If they get too close, you can press the left trigger to dash away from them. So I'm gonna do a nice play here and this. Something like that. Wow, this is not Which I like very much. I think. The ship defense over here quickly recall both of you. So I guess now we get to go on to the next section. Still alive, it looks like, which is good. But the fact that he's still alive also kind of scares me a bit because he shouldn't be alive, I don't think. Assuming the fact that the village just got attacked. Let's, let's hope for the best. Uh, what are you doing here? Are you alright? Should have stayed on the cliff with Grandpa. Not safe here. The poor boy. Did you do that? I guess we have. I mean, God forbid, these birds. Darn it. I am going to make sure that all the trolls are gone. Find it to me to defeat the remaining war. Trap is a floor trap made of sticky tar that slows all enemies that walk over. I really don't like the placement that much, but hey. Oh, so traps have a dedicated time on it. Around. 
Can I at least resist? No. Okay. And you can't go up there again. Assuming we have to complete the other thing. I can't go any farther. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, it's a oh. 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 Man, that's a Pretty nice defense setup. We can get this key. Oh, it's for a chest, it seems. Okay. It says two of four. I'm still kind of curious what's the last one. Oh, armor? I guess that's an artifact, maybe? No, it actually gives me armor. So, here's a question Is armor going to be one off? Meaning that once I lose armor, I just can't get back? Or perhaps they're gonna give us some method to actually regain this. If they also regain it, that would be pretty nice. If they don't, I'm gonna be curious as to how I can only get on throughout the game. Oh, this is the boss fight. Oh, the other door. Chief Taint's horn. He and the warriors are back from raiding. Let's head back after you kill the last of these warrant boys. I have a feeling we probably won't get it back. Yeah, it's got health potions in there. We shouldn't be getting health potions that's the end of the story. And of course there's Yeah, once again, we should not be getting health portion if it's the end of this like, story set. Go, 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 Wait, what? go, 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 you must believe me. Did you think no one noticed when you banned your post to go into snowing forest to plot with your old fairy friends? Elf fairy arrows they scattered across the village. How dare you protect them? This is treason. Take him away. <sighs> no, wait, Dad! Was prepared to take revenge upon the old fairies. And she can talk to him. Cool. You're in. Oh no. What are we going 
going to do? I'd say try and talk to Chief T. We all know he's a solid dwarf. I guess it's just talk to Chief T. Oh, so we so it's kinda like limitless, just that. I'm guessing they'll probably give us a quest that is effectively well, the, the trolls are real. Go find them. And then that's how we start the picture. Which if so is a pretty strong start. Very interesting kind of story because there's no guarantee that, well, our father and we back are still alive. And if he is, we can only hope that uh, he's still alive because he decided to not give up a good fight. Okay, so now, yeah, I have to just, like talk to him. And that's everything. You don't have the guts to enter that cursed forest. I bet you saw the trolls with your own eyes too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm a reasonable dwarf. Bring me proof that trolls exist and I'll release your father. I think the head of a troll will do. <laughs> Good luck getting that. You have until the next full moon to bring me the head of a troll. Or else, your fuck's hit. Nah. Right? That's. Dwarf, you must stop Chief Ting's madness for the sake of both your father and the Alvarez. The trolls must live in Mount Crocrest. After all these years, they finally found a way to withstand the sunlight. Travel north to the Stoic Forest. Gates of Crocrest, the way into the mountain. Before you go, take this spike trap. It damages enemies that walk over it. It works well when placed next to a spin blade turrets, because it blocks the enemies in. Well, I'm sure you're good to figure that out. The father keeps the second power stone in the chest from the northern watchtowers. He hides the keys near the docks. Find the key and get the power stone from the chest. <clears throat> you take care of yourself, grandson. Spike trap. The spike trap is a floor trap that damages all enemies standing above it when the spikes extend from the ground. Annoying when the enemy has it. Should be fun when we have it. Oh, that's the tool right there. Warf. Who's Warf? Who's that? It must be a troll spy. Let's hunt it down and get his head. We need that proof. Follow him. Yes. Well, first, before we do that, we need to get his power stone. Let me climb up this. We can. Oh, dude, that's sick. All right, let's go. Watch. All right. We're just gonna fly. There we go. It's probably pretty useless, but, uh, Hey. You never know. Yeah, shot six. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, there he is. Even farther. I mean, I guess when your father's being 
about to be convicted for uh, conspiring with a group that did nothing wrong. Yes, but we're not gonna let little details like that stop us. We'll, we'll, we'll have time for that, Father. I'm sure it will take less than a fool. Look at that, all the fields are nice and trimmed. We got all the weeds. Still don't know what to do with the stone stuff, but. I guess we'll figure it out. We can't go in there, however. Yep, now we're in the snoring forest, it seems. Find a cloak figure. Okay, got a helpful there. Another thing too that wasn't on the store page, but was on Kickstarter, as they were explaining how some of the game features work. It appears you can upgrade your turrets, like do different things the way you want. That seems like a very fun, interesting. Mechanic. Because I got trapped and I had to reset. This time though, uh, since we. Wait, this thing reset the entire map. Can we get more power stones? No, we can't. Okay. So that. I might get a break, but I don't believe that my coins actually reset at all. My progress faded. Or maybe speed for demo. We'll have to see the Must, there must be a treasure chest nearby. Treasure chest! Oh, -ho, more armor. Yeah, and armor does seem to be a one time use item. Which is interesting, to say the least, because that means that we can't really depend on it to uh, help us out that much. But. If we do have it, it's probably good to find a way to be very careful. So saying, okay, this, low, low trap, and three spike traps. And we just stand out here. I guess I could put this trap there. like showing hey there's more combinations than just the basic view. You 
you should experiment to find them all out. And I guess a really good way to do that. Oh, so if you didn't go to get that key for the armor just then, you have been locked off. So exploration is a uh, seems to be really important in this game, though. You kind of have to know where to explore. And it seems like we might pick up there, or am I just, actually no? I think it's just natural. But this little alcove here is nice. It's gonna lock us off. Yes. I remember seeing this one. They had like this. I'm still getting more okay to find ways to solve Oh. And then they change the turn. Do that. We call everything. Now we finish the search. Oh, there it is. Wait a second. That's no troll. That's a dwarf. So, I am a dwarf indeed. Though, I haven't been to these parts in many moons. I confess, I did learn about you for a reason. I'm a traveling merchant, you see. I sell items and upgrades. Well, I did until the novel. I stole my tools. I need my tools before my upgrades. Let's make a deal. Down the path from here is Fort Stonewall. The door was abandoned a fort centuries ago, so of course the Noblings moved in and made a mess of the place. I trapped the Noblings that stole my tools to the fort, but it's heavily guarded. If you retrieve my tools, I can upgrade your turrets. You'll need a bit turrets if you plan to take on a troll. What do you say? Sure. I'll get your tools back. Alright. We got ourselves a deal. Good luck. Let's go ahead and farm these little, these little coins here. We got one in the Yeah. Oh, that's a little knobbling. Uh. Oh, what they have? Oh! Okay, that. So, that's an enemy that seems to prioritize. No, they prioritize what's closer, it seems like. If I go over here, yeah, they prioritize. Oh, wait, I got hit for this. Okay. Alright, so new enemy types. We got a little small knobling, it seems. Oh. Oh, that's right. Shield can block arrows. That's good. Wait, what? Hey, that's our treasure, you stinking dwarf. Oh. Decent setup here. I'm gonna put this down here. And then... oh, okay, this is gonna be a pain because all those archers don't actually seem to want to get hit. However, the trap seems to work wonders. Oh. 
easier than the boar rush one just because the boar rush had a lot of quick enemies that were kind of hard to deal with this one was really more about placement positioning so i could i feel like i can do it okay. my little nice light up thing you can see these treasures over there i always try to get them so you can go out over there i'll try again Okay, so it's still a little puzzle. There we go. No. Does that reset certain things? In which case, no. That's a reset. This, two flips, it goes over like that. If you two flips with this, it goes like that. Third flip will close that down. Oh, okay. I think I get it. So what I need to do is unlock it so that both of those, all three of those things are open. Hmm. So I already failed. Unless I can just dash across. No, you can't dash across fast enough. Hmm. Like this. That closed down. Something about this So pressing A closes both the doors. Or closes that door first and opens the other door second. So basically, both doors are down. Now, there's no way I can actually. Because I close both doors and open the But if I click on this, it will reset by closing that. There's nothing else you can do like that. And it's open over there. Hmm. And by doing it three times, it seems to just open this up. But then the issue here is the fact that this is not. Hit this. I think the answer might be to this. Wait, no. That's it. Wait. So, there was a way where you could have just, you have both of these doors open. Like that. I think that's probably the solution. And you probably have to do this. No. That's To go all the way out, and that was a solution. Okay, so that was a nice little puzzle. Got some more armor. 
And now we can just reset the puzzle on the way out. It... I say that, but... You actually have to page the puzzle even on the way out, so... Smart than that, smart than that. And with that, we can now leave out here knowing that we got rather than you. Does that pump not mean anything? Guess not. I was slower where he was earlier. No, nope, doesn't seem to be. That seems to be uh, just a cutscene area only for opponent. So, not that I expect to get anything. I was kind of curious to see if we could just go over there. And another, another puzzle. And we already know that sensors don't actually seem to do much for puzzles. So. so this one will open up this door. That'll open up the other ones. I'm guessing if you go on the sensor, it'll reset everything. So. Nice to know. Guess I'll just put these things down. exploration af aspect figured out and forced that into the actual progression, which is nice. I shouldn't say forced, but... Oh. This right here is very... Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Falling off, unfortunately. Armor is something that seems like it's nice to have, but shouldn't be expected at all. And I'll keep that. Here now. All right, so now we're over at the fortress. Lots of little stuff over here to explore. Characters you can buy more just hard or not hard to have power crystals. If so, power stones. If so, that would be quite nice. But at the same time, probably a bit too much. So I don't expect it. Alright, make sure we get everything. Well, all the stuff we can get. Or stone wall. Self. Wow, look at those knot legs. 
Yeah. Yeah. No. There's no way we can just walk through the front gates. We have to find another way in. Oh. Thanks for playing. We hope you enjoyed the Kickstarter demo. If you did, please consider backing so we can finish developing the game without compromising our vision for it. So, yeah, that was the Dwarf demo. It was really nice. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. It has, it combines like open areas, exploration, and tower defense aspects, which is, they did it pretty well. And this is just the beginning portion where they already managed to get like five diverse enemy types in, each with their own different types of health and damage and attack patterns and I and even defenses with the shield columns. So I'm looking forward to full game. And if you're looking forward to the full game as well, then I suggest going to your Steam page, wishlisting it so more people can see it. And also, you can check out their Kickstarter. They have diff you can check out stuff on the Kickstarter. There's a good amount of stuff on Kickstarter that I don't think should fit in this single video. I think it'll be better if you enjoyed reading it by yourself. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed me playing it, and more importantly, enjoyed the actual game itself. Because if you did, that's all that matters. So until next time.